number five, we are asked to use division to determine whether the following polynomial is a factor of the polynomial or not. So for number five, we'll use synthetic division. So we put the opposite of this number here, and we put the coefficients of the polynomial here. So the coefficient of x to the fourth is one. Coefficient of x cubed is zero. Coefficient of x squared is zero. Coefficient of x is zero. And then the coefficient of x to the zero is negative 16. To bring down the one, you multiply 1 by 2 and put it here, and you add down. That gives us 2. You repeat this process. 2 times 2 is 4. Add down. 4 times 2 is 8. Add. 8 times 2 is 16. Add. This is our remainder. Since our remainder is 0, x minus 2 is a factor of x to the 4th minus 16. This is a difference of squares anyway, so we know we can factor it as x squared minus 4 times x squared plus 4. So we know that this factors again to x minus 2 times x plus 2. So we know x minus 2 is one of the factors. If we wanted to check it with the graph, we put x to the 4th. minus 16 in our graph, and x equals to 2, this is when you set this factor equal to 0, should be one of our x-intercepts, one of our solutions. And you can see that it is. We're going to press trace and put 2 for x, and we do get a 0. So the graph of x to the fourth minus 16 looks very similar to the graph of x squared minus 16. It's a shift down 16. So it looks like the graph of parabola moved down 16 units. So this is at negative 16. If I change my window for the y minimum to go to, say, negative 20 and press graph, you can see the vertex of the parabola. I hope this is all coming together for you. So for number 6, we can't use synthetic division, so we're going to use long division. The synthetic division can be only used when dividing by x plus or minus a number, x to the first power. Okay. So we're going to use long division here. Okay. If you want, you can put plus 0 x cubed plus 0 x squared plus 0 x minus 16. This is not mandatory as it is in here. When you do synthetic division, you must put these zeros, otherwise you will absolutely get the wrong answer. Here, as long as you combine like terms, you'll be safe. So you divide the first number here, the first term, by the first term here. So x to the fourth divided by x squared is x squared. We usually line it up here, but that's also not too important if you don't line it up. If you put it, for example, over here, it's still okay. Multiply x squared by x squared, you get x to the fourth power. x squared times 3x is 3x cubed. Negative 1 times x squared is negative x squared. It's very important to remember to multiply this by every one of these terms. Now we subtract. One of the safest ways to subtract this is to change these signs and add. This way you're sure to, that you've distributed the negative sign. So 0x cubed minus 3x cubed is negative 3x cubed. 0x squared plus x squared is x squared. You can bring down the 0x and the negative 16. Now you divide again. You repeat the whole process all over again. So negative 3x cubed divided by x 
left is negative 3x. Now you multiply. Negative 3x times x squared better be negative 3x cubed, otherwise we divide it wrong. And then 3x times negative 3x is negative 9x squared. Negative 1 times negative 3x is positive 3x. Change the signs and add, which is another way of subtracting. These two should cancel. x squared plus 9x squared is 10x squared. 0x minus 3x is negative 3x. And bring down the negative 16. Divide again. 10x squared divided by x squared is 10. Multiply by everything. That gives us 10x squared. 10 times 3x is 30x. 10 times negative 1 is negative 10. Change the signs and add. We get negative 33x minus 6. This is our remainder. We can't continue anymore because the power here, the exponent, is less than the exponent of our divisor. So we stop now. Since this is not equal to 0, x squared plus 3x minus 1 is not a factor of the original polynomial x to the fourth minus 16. And you can see it's not one of the factors because we factored it here. And these are our factors. Even if you factor this, it's going to be, it's not going to be x squared plus 3x minus 1. So let's make sure we communicate that this is not a factor.